what's up everyone and welcome to your 33rd javascript tutorial and in this tutorial we'll be finally ending david sheriff's questions of javascript uh, with a perfect and obvious logic and in front of us we have question number 16 right now and this question says that we are creating a simple array of these three elements we are just calling the second element that means the 0 1 and 2 that means third element actually the bas one and then we are console logging 2 in my array okay so this statement right here is confusing isn't it but actually not if you go back to my playlist in the loop section then we have this in keyword in my for loop so let's explain let me explain you this again let's create an array my array is equal to one two three four five uh, let's use for i in my array and uh, let's print out or basically console log i and run it so what we get here is zero one two three four pretty simple now this i holds down here i is equal to the index value of every element in this array my array so basically as I told you earlier in JavaScript arrays are special kinds of object so when we are accessing this two in my array so we could actually rewrite this array for for the interpreter as this just like this one one two two three three and like that or basically sorry it would start with zero because indexing starts with zero and like that so okay I had just these two never mind so basically now when we run this 2 in my array then it basically returns us the boolean value that whether the element with index value of 2 2 as an integer or as a string JavaScript engine doesn't mind it would automatically convert it for you is present in my array then yes it is that is the pass value and so it would return us true but what if we have this array a one one two two just with two elements and we just do a or basically three and two would also do two in a then it would log us false because a two doesn't exist but one in a would log us true because the a one element exists which is equal to 22 so this question was simple enough and the answer is true now we have question number 17 down here we are creating an array array 0 is a array 1 is b array foo is c now this line doesn't make sense any because in arrays we have the indexing or basically kind of keys only in in teachers so we don't have any associative arrays in JavaScript so we cannot create like array.foo or anything like that in JavaScript so basically we can only create arrays with the help of string or sorry with the help of integers like assigning the index value to every element so this line is completely meaningless right now so JavaScript just doesn't add this C element to this array ARR and the length is obviously 1 and 2 so the answer should be 2 now this is pretty interesting now what's happening down here is it's the operation of uh, how JavaScript evaluates a command so to us it looks like 10 is obviously greater than 9 is obviously greater than 8 and this expression is true but JavaScript what it considers is like this it considers this statement as this and 
true. Now what's happening down here is we supply this information to JavaScript that 10 is greater than 9. JavaScript says obviously that's true. Then this statement down here becomes true. True. Cool. Now while conversion, while comparing a to true, JavaScript automatically converts this boolean value to integral value which is 1. Now 1 is greater than 8 which obviously is false. So this expression down here becomes false and false is not equal to true and what we get is false. Okay now we have this function down here and we have arguments and I guess I didn't explain this arguments in my any of my tutorials and I'll do that in the next or maybe a couple after that but anyways let me explain briefly what arguments is in JavaScript we could arbitrarily pass any number of arguments in a function even if it doesn't have any arguments as accepted in the parenthesis so what that means is arguments is kind of an array of arguments passed in a function so like I'll show you just one now like we have this function a let's console log the arguments and let's pass call the function a with the arguments as one two three four notice that I'd have no variables down here to collect the values of these arguments passed so when we do this the arguments console logs the number of arguments so in JavaScript we could pass any number of arguments no matter what the function is and could retrieve all the arguments with arguments but in this case we have two variables in the parenthesis to accept the two arguments passed by the function called so what's happened here is in this function we are assigning arguments 1 the value of 2 now this appears like we are assigning b as the value of 2 but arguments and b are two separate things now basically if if somewhere b was called in this function then this statement would work as expected for example if I copy the statement down here if I copy this and now okay let me explain this way now in down here we are calling this function with just one argument that means one is in value a and arguments dot length is right now one arguments dot length is one now it may seem to be correct to just add this element like this way but arguments are actually they appear like an array but actually they are not arrays now this is something very high concept in JavaScript because these arguments appear to be like array and behave like array but they are not completely like an array so what happens here is if we don't have any value supplied for B we could not modify the value for b using just arguments so and had we have supplied this value down here let's say a b c or any other value down here and then we have modified this value with the arguments keyword then this should have modified the value of b everywhere in this function but since we don't have the b argument as defined then this statement down here does nothing and b is simply alerted as undefined I'll explain this argument thing in my upcoming tutorials don't worry about that if you are not clear with this okay so now we have a very special case in JavaScript where one thing is not equal to another thing and I have uh, referenced this in my previous tutorial as well and not a number I guess in JavaScript is the only thing which is not equal to itself and if we enter this we get false and why is that I'll explain in a moment if we set a variable value to not a number now this variable is not equal to itself and that's pretty amazing now why is this and why does these JavaScript developers 
did not a number is not equal to itself this is because so that a miscalculation in JavaScript does not equal to itself so uh, basically JavaScript developers wanted that developers do not just compare two miscalculations among themselves and get true as both of these results for example if I parse int a string and equal set it to parse int a any other string then we would get false because this evaluates to not a number and this evaluates to not a number so basically if had we got the result as true that means this string is equal to this string which is completely wrong so this is important in JavaScript that not a number is triple equal to not a number which returns false so whoa we completed with the score of 100% and the average score of the quiz was 48% and trust me it's not easy to complete this quiz at the first time because I guess I have also done this quiz around like three to four times to understand the logic and the working of every question behind this and if you are ready to go then go ahead and just go to this page down here and attempt this quiz and be mastered in that so this was all about this David Sheriff's guys quiz and it was very awesome and I hope you enjoyed my explanation and his quiz as well and in the upcoming tutorials we'll be discussing some more aspects of JavaScript and something cool about it so I'll see you in the next tutorial then and don't forget to subscribe and share the videos thanks for watching